August 17, 1961, the Newfoundland town of Botwood is driving. Everybody was cheerful that summer evening. Little did they know the horror that was about to come upon them. In a matter of hours, two homes were completely destroyed. Others were damaged. The wharf and paper shed at the end of the waterfront collapsed and Botwood lost its only fire truck. In total, three people were killed. So please join me in the story of the Botwood 1961 waterfront fire as told in an interview with a survivor. That morning, the SS Artensis pulled into the wharf at Botwood to pick up paper for blank newspapers to take overseas. While the ship was waiting to be loaded, a fire sparked from an unknown source. Inspections of the wreckage and survivor testimony would lead most to believe that the fire started from an engine explosion on board the Artensis. This explosion immediately killed three engineers. As the Artensis continued to burn, firefighters were alerted of the situation and loaded the fire truck with their equipment. Unfortunately, by the time the firefighters arrived at the scene, fire had already traced down the mooring lines and the wharf was beginning to burn. The air raid sirens from World War II were now beginning to sound to alert Botwood of the coming fire. After making up a plan, the firefighters drove and parked the fire truck onto the wharf to see if they can send the Artensis back out into the river. Though they were successful at doing so, none of them would have foreseen what was about to happen. Suddenly, a giant wall of fire erupted behind them and blocked their exit. They tried to fight the fire to no avail. They all ended up having to jump overboard to avoid being burned to death. Just as the firefighters made it back to the shore, the wharf, which could no longer handle the weight of the fire truck sitting on top of it, collapsed into 30 feet of water. One witness, which I did not interview, claims that when the wharf collapsed, part of it fell into the paper shed, which was used to print and manufacture newspaper, causing that side of the building to catch on fire as well. Minutes later, the fire came in contact with the machinery used to print these newspapers, and a giant ball of fire erupted out of the top of the building. No one was injured or killed in this secondary explosion. While the paper shed was burning, tiny shredded pieces of burning paper was shot up into the air and was beginning to sprinkle all over the streets below. In fear that the tiny pieces of paper will land on houses and catch them on fire, the firefighters sprang into action. Because of the loss of the fire truck, the firefighters resorted to using small buckets and filling them with water from the lake. But the firefighters were too late. The tiny pieces of burning paper that were shot up into the air landed on the house of Alex Nichols, and it too began burning to the ground. Thankfully though, everyone was evacuated from their houses within the danger zone. By the time Alex Nichols' house caught on fire, there was nothing the firefighters could do. The firefighters did everything they could to try and rescue the surrounding houses, but unfortunately, the house of Cyril Boone too caught on fire. The firefighters did the best they could to wet the roofs of nearby houses to prevent them from catching on fire. Thankfully, no other houses would burn. Finally, the paper shed gave way and it too collapsed to the ground. Once again, there were no reported injuries or deaths in this collapse. For the rest of that day, fires were fought from fire trucks that were received from St. John's, Newfoundland. Though the wreckage still smoldered for weeks, the very next day after the disaster, the general public was now open to visit the site of the accident. The picture you are looking at now shows the aftermath of the disaster. But here's a real head scratcher. The town of Botwood, Newfoundland has experienced a very, very similar accident in 1958, where a cargo ship burst into flames at a different wharf, but the fire was quickly put under control. So what happened here? See, it all has to come down to what the ships were filled with. The unnamed cargo ship that burst into flames in 1958 was filled with non-flammable materials such as toys and other things that were made from plastics and metals. Now compare that to a ship that was filled with hundreds of rolls 
of paper, which all immediately burst into flames upon the original explosion. All those hundreds of rolls of blank newspapers all increased the rate of the fire as the artensis burned. And that is why the fire spread so quickly and uncontrollably. In the evening telegraph newspaper from the next day, August 18th, it was reported that one man said, We've lost everything. The ship was our home. The A&D company, which is the company that owned the paper shed, were forced to set up in a different wharf to stay in business while they rebuilt. The cause of the fire is currently unknown because the source of the fire is debated upon. Though if you look at the footage in the earliest stages of the fire, you can definitely see a mushroom cloud that looks to have come from an explosion, which suggests that the engine in the Artensis did explode. 